Both sides are finished. All that's left is to cut the string ox and put a string on it. So what I'm going to do is measure in about three fourths of an inch. I'm going to cut my knock. I'm using a uh, tile saw. You could use a eighth inch file. Either way. Now you want to make your knot here just deep enough to where the string will sit, but not so much that this will come off when the string is on here. So there we go. I've got my first knot done. So I'm just going to do that on the other side, and once I'm finished, we'll string this up. So now we're ready to string this up. Now I'm using a 316 inch polypropylene rope. This is a diamond braid. And this is good because it's low stretch. And low stretch basically means that it'll make your bow more efficient. So if you wanted to use this as a permanent string, it would be better to use this than paracord or another type of nylon rope as a permanent string. Just because nylon will rub the arrow of a little bit of speed. Now it's not that big of a deal, especially when you go into the higher weights so or your bow is very efficient. But, you know, just for a bow like this, you want to get as much efficiency out of your string as possible. So what I'm doing is I'm just tying an overhand, making a loop, and tying an overhand knot at the top. So there's my top loop. Put that on the bow. Make sure it seats in the knock. There we go. So now I bring it down to the other end. So I measure about three inches on the other side and then I go ahead and I make a loop and then another knot. Here it is. So now I'm putting the bow over my lip. Hold on one second. Tightening the knot a little bit. Okay, so I'm putting the knot, the lower knot of the bow over my leg, putting my leg into it, and now I am going to string this bow. Alright, so here it is. Here's the bow. So I've got a pretty decent, about a six inch brace height. Yeah. Now this is where I like it to be. You may find that it will strap your wrist, uh, slap your wrist a little more, but makes the bow a little quieter, a little faster, and it puts the bow under less stress, which is always good. So here it is. All right, so here's the bow strung up. Now I just weighed this, and it's uh, pulling 50 pounds. So by the time this is broken in, it'll probably be around 45 pounds or so. So here it is. Yeah. So this is a decent bow. Yeah, I like it. Um, now because it's a lot heavier, you know, more than twice the weight of the other bow, what you want to do is you know, let it sit, you know, take time to, you know, gently give it a few half draws before you bring it up to full draw when you shoot it out. 
you know, in the beginning. Just get it used to bending. So I'm just going to shoot it once for you guys. <laughs> and it just went through my target. So here it is for right now. So the next step is we're going to go finish it up. There we go.